Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you are... Gosh, why do I start these vlogs as soon as I've just run up the stairs? I hope you are all doing really well and thank you so much for joining me for another weekly vlog. Um, I'm actually going to start by showing you these trousers that are hanging over the door because I didn't get to show you them in last week's vlog and Abercrombie, as per usual, are just killing it with the not only just trousers just pieces in general um um so i wanted to quickly show you a few new bits i've picked up for spring because i've got them out and if i don't show you now i'm probably going to forget i'm just interrupting here really quickly because i've actually got a 20 percent abercrombie discount code but it's for this weekend only this vlog is going to go live on sunday and it's going to end i believe sunday or monday so if there was anything you wanted to get from abercrombie um, I will leave the links and discount code and the dates of the discount code, all of that below. Before we get into this week's vlog, I wanted to show you some spring outfit ideas quickly because over on my Instagram, I've been doing 30 days of spring outfits and I just wanted to show you the outfits more in depth. I really hope that these outfit ideas are helpful. Do you remember the white trousers that I had from Marks and Spencers last year? I'll put a photo of them in here. They were like the perfect white trouser, but they so sold out so quickly and they never restocked them. I feel like they're missing a, you know, missing mega sales if they don't restock them this year. So because of that, I've been on a mission to find you the best pair of white trousers and mission complete, I have found them. They're from Abercrombie. They just honestly do the best trousers. These are fully lined, so they're not see-through. And I just find that these don't crease that much. I've got these gorgeous white silk trousers from Lily Silk, but they just crease. Like you only have to look at them and they are creased. Whereas the Abercrombie ones, I just find that they don't really crease. They just hang so beautifully. I think they're £60, so they are a bit more expensive than the H&M ones, but I just feel like with something like this, you're really going to get your wear from it. I highly recommend their trousers. I think they fit so nice and feel so nice. They hang beautifully, and I think they look really premium too. So here they are, and I've styled them up here with a navy jumper and some tan accessories. I love white, navy, and tan. It's a really easy colour combination, but I think it it's quite an expensive looking colour combination. This is the jumper, this is from H&M, I got this at the beginning of the year. So I don't think it's in stock now, but I'll still link it just in case. Um, and hopefully I can find some other navy jumpers as well. And then an easy, simple outfit formula here. I wear this when I don't know what to wear. Blue jeans, white t-shirt, blazer, any spring shoe and a neutral bag. Super simple, super easy. And it's like always my go-to for when I don't know what to wear. This blazer is a couple of years old. It's actually a H&M blazer. I think it was like a premium H&M one. But this is what I mean by if you find those really good pieces that you love, you will keep wearing and keep using them. I don't think this is in stock anymore, but I'll try to find some similar alternatives. I'm always in a bit of a catch-22 with these kind of things because obviously I know it's so annoying when somebody shows something and then it's not in stock or you can't get it or it's old. Um, so I like to try and show new things that you can actually buy, but then I also, on the other hand, want to show you that you don't always have to buy new things like if you find good things they will last you so i try and do a bit of a mix and i will try and always give alternatives for things that aren't new all being so much more sustainable with our wardrobe and for the last few years i've been choosing quality over quantity and that really i feel like that's really paid off because i've got yeah, lots of really nice quality basics. Um, just to quickly show you as well, I feel like now, I mean, I wear white t-shirts all year round, but I know coming into spring, we're all going to be wanting a white t-shirt. This is about two years old. I've just ordered another one actually, because sometimes when this is in the wash, um, I need another one because I wear it so much. It's the Cos uh, Boxy white t-shirt. I'm just gonna untuck it to show you. I'm wearing a size small, and as I said, this is two years old. I always wash my whites with Vanish. That's what I feel like keeps my whites white, but it's just the perfect white t-shirt. I don't find it see-through. It's just the perfect cut. I think it's 30 pounds, but as I said, I've had this for two years and this 
And since buying this white t-shirt, I haven't bought another white t-shirt. Sometimes I found myself buying a £10 t-shirt here, a £10 t-shirt here and there. And I might have four or five £10 t-shirts, but none of them were the exactly right. Anyway, back to the details. Shoes, I went with my Birkenstock Bostons. Love these so much. And I'm excited that now we can wear these barefoot. In the autumn, I've been wearing these with like chunky socks but happy to be going barefoot now. And finally, you know, the beloved satin skirt. I know you probably get sick of this. I don't get sick of this. I love this skirt so much and I wear it all the time. It's seen me through all the seasons. Um, but I wanted to style it up in a bit more of like a casual-ish way. So I've actually popped them on with my Adidas um, specials. And do you know what I love? Is when something matches. So this jacket and these trainers go so nicely together so I always end up wearing these together like today here with the skirt um, but also you can wear it with jeans or the white trousers as well so I find just having those little matching pieces make your outfit feel quite cohesive and then I've got three pairs of Abercrombie jeans to show you these are new styles for Abercrombie and I've got a white a dark denim and a light denim okay so please ignore the mess of clothes there so these are called the wide leg i'm a size 10 and i wear waist 28 i really love the style of these jeans they've got a really nice casual relaxed look to them these are lovely i haven't worn skinny jeans in so many years I love wide leg trousers and these are really nice. I absolutely love the cut and fit of these. Next pair I've got are the wide leg as well, but just to confuse you, these um, is because they basically these are all they had in store when I went last week. These are actually a size smaller. These are 26, but these are in the curve love range. So they've got more space like on the hips and bum. Um, so I actually went down a size in these because they're a little bit more spacious. And these are just a really nice wide leg. These will look so nice with um, just sandals and like a t-shirt and basket bag in the spring and summer. Love these. Okay, final pair of jeans. These are the wide leg but cropped. So these are slightly shorter. The fabric on these, the denim is so soft and it's quite a thin denim. I hate a really thick structured denim because I just find as soon as you sit down, it just cuts in so badly. And as a woman, you just don't want that. These are really, really soft. Just doing some uh, movements to show you kind of the softness of them. But they just hang really nicely. I probably wouldn't wear this with grey. I feel like it's almost too similar. Um, but white, navy, um, tan, something else. These are a really nice fit though. Final thing to show you are some more white trousers. I know another pair of white trousers, but I really live in trousers like this. And when I find a pair that I absolutely love, I'm not gonna pass up on them because I'm quite fussy with things like this. They need to fit perfectly and they need to like, tick so many boxes. These white trousers, as I said, they don't really crease. Like these have just come out of the packet. They could do with a steam, but I find once they're steamed, they stay pretty crease free. Um, they're not see-through. They're just so comfortable and amazing. Um, so I might even get another color in these. They've got the cuffs on the bottom. Um, so they look a little bit different to the ones I showed you earlier. Wearing a waist 28 in these, they're nice and high-waisted. They've got your belt hooks. These are really nice trouser for work trousers. You've probably seen it, but I've got this gorgeous white cardigan from Abercrombie that I wear all the time. It's exactly like this, but just white and long sleeves. But they've bought them out in short sleeves and they've got lots of other colours. Um, and I thought this was so nice for spring. The quality of these little cardigans are so nice. I was saying in last week's vlog that I tried that H&M one on, similar style to this, but it just felt so cheap compared to this. The quality of these are just beautiful. Baby, gotta fake it till you make it and I did lights, camera and Good morning everyone, it is such a lovely morning. This sunshine is very much welcomed and it just makes everything feel better. Um, I'm just parked up um, at the train station because I'm heading into London this morning. I normally wouldn't just go in for one appointment, I'll try to like make the day of it if I'm paying for like parking and train and stuff but 
I haven't got time today and I'm basically just going in for my Botox appointment. Each to their own with aesthetic treatments. Um, but for me, Botox works so well and it makes me feel great and it makes my makeup go on and I just love it. I have it done probably like three times a year, I'd say. Yeah, maybe like three. Yeah, about three times a year. I feel like I started at the right time at 30. I wasn't like too young. My skin was like fully developed. If anything, I probably started a bit late, but it works really well for me. Um, I love it. I'm always really careful with what I have done and who I go to. I always do a lot of research um, and I'm trying someone new today. Um, I just fancied a change up and he came well recommended. So I will update you when we get there. Have you ever seen such a big pan of chocolate? That is massive. This is the coolest coffee shop ever that I've just come across. You can pick from all of these different coffee beans. Obviously, I had no idea what to go for, so I just went for the standard one. The beans go from these tubes all through that tube and then into the coffee machine. Iced coffee in the sun. This is so nice. I've got the cutest little box of mints. How cute are these? And then look, they are little hearts. How cute are they? Don't want to have coffee breath going in. <laughs> Hello everyone, I hope you're having a nice day. Ignore the red mark on my face, I've just had a cap on, but I'm with, <laughs> I'm with Dr. Ahmed here. Um, he's gonna help me because as you know, I'm going to be 33 next week. You look fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. But the problem I have is under my eyes, I'm getting like slightly crepey skin and when like makeup doesn't sit in there well. So I've mm. come to see Dr. Ahmed today, who's recommended polynucleotides. Um, I'll pass over to you. <laughs> yeah, so polynucleotides, this is a great regenerative treatment. So it helps the under eye skin produce collagen, elastin and hyaluronic acid. So it reduces hollowness, it thickens the skin and it brightens it. Um, so it's a natural way to just kind of mm. regenerate the area and rejuvenate it essentially. Definitely, and you were saying it's like it goes in and it's like, hey, wake up and start yeah, like reproducing. Come back. Yeah. <laughs> obviously, from the age of 25, you lose between one and 1.5 percent of your collagen production. So anything to get that collagen back up is a bonus. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, for the Emila. Just jump in with a new really I was like, how do you know where you're going? Especially like, mm. your face moves as you're about Perfect. And lift up. Stunning. <laughs> Such great angles. I know, I'm like, how do you feel so cute? bit of a tidy up in here because it's got a bit messy and it's got a bit cluttered and I hate when it gets like this. The weather has finally started to warm up a bit. I'm not going to get rid of like, I'm not going full summer, don't you worry. We know that the English weather is a bit temperamental to say the least but there's things like a black roll neck jumper. That's certainly not something I'm going to wear now until at least like autumn. So I'm going to take out like more wintry i mean i've t taken out like <laughs> i feel like i've done this in so many stages but like i've taken out the bulk of the winter and then i kept on to a few other bits but now i feel like um like for example this this is quite wintry um and i did hold on to it in here but i know i'm not going to wear this now i probably won't wear this until autumn so i'm going to have a tidy out tidy out clear out not clear out i'm not getting rid of anything like i'm not throwing any of these bits away so i'm just going to have a bit of a mini clear out refresh because what i hate is when things start getting tight in the wardrobe you know when you're like trying to squish everything in i hate that i want it to be nice and like spaced out and i actually prefer having less in my wardrobe i know there's loads of stuff behind me if i try to have 
as little as possible. So let's have a bit of a clear out. One area that is overflowing is the trouser and skirt, like the bottom department. And I have bought quite a few new bottoms recently. I'm not in the mood to be trying all these on. What I need to do is take them all out, try them on. But that's quite a lot of effort and I'm not in the mood to do that. I'm not going to have a try on, but I will properly and thoroughly go through these pieces. And if I know I'm not going to wear them till autumn, they're going to come out. And if they're things that just don't fit or I know I'm not going to wear anymore, they can go in my charity bag. I just find it so therapeutic to have a good wardrobe clear out um, and just re-tidy the wardrobe because what happens is once I've worn clothes and washed them, it's the putting away part that gets delayed. So things just are like hanging up on the door. They're still clean folded in the washing basket because we're overflowing in here and there isn't space. So therefore I put off coming in here, putting things away or even tidying up. When it's a mess in here, I just let the mess accumulate. So if it's tidy, I will keep it tidy. But I don't seem to keep it tidy. Haven't quite figured that out yet. But anyway, let's have a little clear out. three leather jackets that I just haven't worn for a while and I don't know why are we not wearing leather jackets anymore um it's unlikely that I'm going to wear these in spring like I actually definitely think I won't so I'm going to put these away like thinner wool coats out where it still had been cold um i don't know if i'm jinxing it if i pack these away even if the weather doesn't stay warm i don't think i would wear these because they they feel a little bit more wintry so we're doing it we're packing the coats away i am so excited it's been warm for the last few days please say this is it please say spring has arrived and I'm not gonna regret putting these coats away. I'm so happy taking these out of my wardrobe. I will see you in autumn. I'm gonna leave trench coats in there because I probably will still wear those. There's loads of clothes here. I'm gonna bag these up, put these in the loft for autumn, and then I've made that much space in my wardrobe for some spring bits. <laughs> Um, since I last properly spoke to you on here. Um, I feel like a lot's happened in this week, so I'll get to all the updates. Um, but before I forget, I just wanted to update you on the polynucleotides that you would have seen that I had with Dr. Ahmed. Since I last spoke to you, I've also turned 33. Um, and one of my main concerns on my face is I feel like it's just in this kind of section here. Um, the skin feels really it's like tissue paper you know how crinkly it gets and it just feels so thin um so i just asked him if there is anything that we could do to be honest i didn't want filler because filler 
plumps areas up and I don't have hollow eyes so I don't feel like I needed filler just yet and he suggested the polynucleotides which is what I had been doing a bit of research on um, and what I was potentially looking for as well so I was glad we were both aligned on that and basically um, as he explained it's like a regen regenerative treatment and basically just gets the collagen production going again um he explained it so much better and if you just google polynucleotide treatment you will find more but it is injected into the eye um i could i was a little bit squeamish and it did feel like quite close to my eye but it was over and done with so quickly so i'm a week on now and i feel like i am noticing a difference like it definitely feels less crinkly that's felt like how i can describe it it feels less crinkly but i'm seeing him again in two weeks so that would have been three weeks since my first appointment for a second session and he said it's after the second session that most people see kind of the best results it was my first time meeting him as well and he was really lovely and Sorry, I can never talk when I do the mist. And he was really patient when I was being really squeamish. And it was actually just a really nice, enjoyable appointment. And like, I'm really looking forward to seeing him again. He's got clinics in Leeds and Manchester and Cheshire, I think. He's super experienced and has so much knowledge as well. So I really felt like I was in safe hands as well. So as I said, it has been my birthday since I last spoke to you. I spread my birthday out over the full weekend, which I feel like you have to, right? On Friday, Tom and I went to the spa and we just had like a really relaxing day. And actually that day it was tipping down with rain all day but because we were inside um and even they did have an outdoor swimming pool and it was raining it just felt really cozy and actually it was so nice saturday we headed into london just the two of us we had a really nice um lunch we had some drinks in claridge's we had a little shop about we just had such a nice day together we're not actually a couple that does date night and that kind of thing all the time so to have a fun day out together was really nice and then on sunday we went for lunch with friends and Monday, which was my actual birthday, we saw family. So it was such a lovely weekend. Now this gorgeous weather has arrived in the UK and I just feel like all Brits are just so happy this week because this is what we've been waiting for. This is the primer that I've been using for a long time now. I'm gonna say a couple of years. And I've gone through quite a few of them and I had run out. So I was using a different primer for my normal makeup routine. And my makeup, especially the It Cosmetics CC cream that I use all the time, just was not going on nicely at all. And I was thinking, what's going on here? And I think it's this. And this really is my favorite primer. So when we were in London last week, we popped into Selfridges and I just bought another one of these. This also has a high SPF 50 protection in as well. Um, oh, I haven't, I need to take off. I need to take off that bit. With this as well, I don't actually scrimp. I put like a... Mm, I put like a decent amount on so um it really fully covers all of my face and neck as well and also then it just gives such a nice moisturized hydrated base for your foundation or tinted moisturizer whatever you're going to use next so i've really noticed a difference when i don't wear this you could just wear this on its own as well because as i said it's got the protection in and i think it just like gives your skin a nice little glow as well i've had a shower and put my clean birthday pajamas on um i got some new pajamas for my birthday i don't know if you can really um see them oh my god it's quite see-through i hope you can see your nip nips there lovely like see a sucker is that the right word material with these stripes from h&m and leave them linked down below because they're so like loose and floaty and airy and just so perfect for these summer mornings i always like to put clean pajamas on after the shower to get ready in um anyway i'm not going to do my makeup because i feel like you've seen the makeup routine a hundred times so i'm going to do this um and then we can catch up after just one of the many many reasons why the sun makes me so happy is towels bedding and like thicker clothes can just dry so quickly outside we're well, all washing actually i just love hanging the washing outside so i'm just gonna put the towels in i was just about to make an iced coffee and i think that silly laura didn't refill the ice cube tray i mean i've got four so that's enough but why would i do that oh my god that's just another reason why we love this weather it's iced coffee i like to put loads of ice in my iced coffee to keep it really cold so i will just put i think four fit in this glass 
Also, if you are looking for something new to watch on TV, I've got two recommendations for you. I feel like that's the perfect amount of advice. So we've got the espresso over the ice. I like to just mix it up to make sure, because obviously the espresso is hot, so just making sure that is as cold as possible. I like it sweet, so I add a little bit of the um, morning. I just got this from Tesco. Okay. Just pop a little bit of that in. And that sound, just listen. That sound just makes me so happy. That is perfection. Sometimes I do too much, sometimes I do too little, but that, that's perfection. I actually came on to talk to you about some TV recommendations and I got sidetracked with the coffee. The TV recommendations are um, Red Eye, it's on ITV. Um, it's similar-ish vibes to Hijack, if you watch that with Idris Elba on Apple TV, where it's set on a plane, it's very tense. So it's, it's that kind of vibe, it's really good, it's really tense, it is quite far-fetched and you do think, this just wouldn't happen or i just hope it wouldn't happen um but yeah that's really good that's on itv all the episodes are on there i think there's like six or eight episodes are quite a good um series to binge watch and then i'm just coming to the end of the penultimate season of dexter um I watched it originally when it came out, I think it was 2012 or 2013 it originally came out and I remember watching it then and just loved it so much and I love it again, if not more, the second time around. It's so good. Again, really, to be honest, quite unrealistic. Some of the language and tone of voice indexed it used does feel quite dated now. Like I don't think you would see that in something being released now. It's still really good. I've really enjoyed watching it. I've been so hooked on it. It's 23 degrees and I'm wearing a cardigan. I don't know why, don't ask me why, but I've just come on here quickly because I've been out and I've just got home to these. Like, I'm actually lost for words and that's, that's not often. Oh, look at this bunch of flowers. Okay, that's so, it's not a bunch of flowers. Look at this bouquet of a hundred white roses. Like, what? I've never had anything like this before. I'm not over that. That is absolutely like beyond anything. Of, oh, <laughs> I thought I was gonna pull the whole stick up. I feel like probably on camera doesn't do it justice, but it's like, look how big that is. But I don't even know what vase to put these in. I feel like I need a big vase to show them off and I just don't know if I've got anything that's really gonna do these justice. I've got my I've got my secateurs out because I'm going to um, just trim the bottom of the roses so they hopefully last longer. Oh, there's an elastic band in there. And they're not all reaching. Oh, this hasn't really gone to plan. Like some have dipped in. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I'm going to leave them in there for now. I might try and find something else, but I'll leave them in there to begin with. Hello, everyone. It is Saturday afternoon now. We're just heading out for lunch, and I just wanted to pop on here and say bye um, before I upload this vlog tomorrow. Um, we're actually running a bit late this morning because... Um, Tom and I are going out for lunch. We wanted to do a walk with Bertie this morning, and when we were out walking... Bertie decided to just roll himself in fresh cow's poo. He's never done that before. Like, he's rolled in grass that, yeah, maybe that there was a smell on the grass or something, but this time he was covered in it. And obviously his light coat, he was just covered in stinky cow poo. Luckily, there was actually some water, so we put him in that and like tried to wash him off there as much as possible. We then had to give him a full bath when we got home. So we're just about to leave and go for lunch now. I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit of the day. I've got this lovely cotton blue shirt. Um, it's the first time I'm wearing this actually. I've had this, yeah, a couple of weeks but haven't worn it. And my battery is flashing at me so I'm just going to wrap this up quickly. Beige pollen bag with my beige um, sandals as well. Um, yeah, so yeah, we're going to go out for some lunch. I really don't know 
what I fancy. But thank you so much for taking the time to watch this weekly vlog. I hope you have been enjoying this lovely weather and I will see you next week. Bye!